topic for today is conversion. In the Gospel of Mark chapter 1, Jesus begins his ministry by saying, The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The word repentance is the closest word that we can use to define what it means to experience conversion. Repentance means metanoia, a total change, a 180 degree turn. What does it mean? Well, first, it must be seen clearly in our lives. When somebody experiences conversion, you can see it at work in his or her life. In my case, one simple example was when I made a decision to change my life, one of the first things that I had to change was my attitude about cheating. I decided not to cheat. When I made that decision, it became very obvious to my friends during exams that I was not cheating anymore. It is clearly seen. But the second important thing to know is conversion begins with a choice. I first made a choice to change. But any kind of change is also a process. There needs to be consistency in that change. When I made a, cha when I made a choice to change, I ended up realizing that changing and not changing and deciding not to cheat meant I had to study, I had to work hard, and I had to prepare for my exams. And that process of making a choice led to many more choices so that I can experience a total change in that particular area of my life. Conversion is what we're aiming for in our Christian life. That's why St. Paul describes it this way. In Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, he says, It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. The aim of conversion is to be like Christ. And if we begin this process of conversion or repentance, the end product is that we would become more and more like Christ. That when somebody meets us, somebody encounters us, we could actually say that they would also encounter Christ. So I'd like to invite all of us to make the difficult choice to say, I want to repent. I want to experience conversion.